There is no greater joy in my life than scoring a goal against my nephew as myself in FIFA and the Roy Kent on screen going, yeah, in his face and me next to him going, yeah. <laughs> He's troubled. My name is Brett Goldstein and these are the 10 essential items I can't live without. Swimming goggles. You never know when you're near a big body of water. When you are, you need goggles. I like the water. If I could, I'd live in it. These are really shit. This is the fourth pair of goggles I bought this year. I did have some really good ones. I'd love to show you them. They now live in the sea. Hopefully Ariel's using them and her eyes are well. It's also a good look. I don't know why you don't see more of this on the catwalk. Am I more of a front crawl or a backstroke kind of guy? Front crawl. I go trunks. I have found a pair which I haven't brought with me. They're incredibly tight and like a speedo, but go down a bit to, you know, fit the whole package. Moleskin notebook. Comedian Sarah Pascoe once bought me a Moleskin notebook. I've never looked back. I'll go through six in a year, maybe. I use it for writing stand-up and for free writing. No, I mean, this proper psychopath shit. <laughs> any of this out. If I ever die and these are found, people will start looking for the bodies. Sometimes it's not all writing, sometimes it's, you know, drawings of my um, family. It's got me to this table. <laughs> Laptop. Don't leave the house without it. When you put down your psychopathic notepad, it's time to get serious. I've been asked how messy my desktop is. There's about 45 windows open, so for some people that would be a panic attack. But for me, it's home. It is stressful actually, now you've sort of drawn attention to it, I feel panicked. Yeah, I'm gonna close that. Black t-shirt, wardrobe looks like Batman. It's just 20 black t-shirts. Here's one of them, I'm wearing the other one. You never know when you need a black t-shirt. I'll tell you when, all the time. Fitted or baggy? Fitted, rather than, you know, big and large. <laughs> <laughs> this is a water bottle. To be fair, when we're talking essential items, I'd argue water. This is a Muppet Studio water bottle that I was given. I carry it around at the gym in the hope that someone will say, how come you've got a Muppet Studio water bottle? And I'll say, because I met the Muppets. <laughs> I love the Muppets. I like Dr. Teeth. I've met them. And tell you what, people say don't meet your heroes. They haven't met the Muppets, have they? I'd say meet the Muppets. You won't be disappointed. Next one, uh, the love of a good woman. This is legit. They put AFC Richmond into it, and my nephew is really good at football, but there is no greater joy in my life than scoring a goal against my nephew as myself in FIFA, and the Roy Kent on screen going, yeah, in his face, and me next to him going, yeah. <laughs> He's troubled. Is that the only team that you ever use? Yeah, yeah. Although I did uh, the other day transfer Marcus Rashford into AFC Richmond and he fits in quite nice. My next item would be cinema. Everyone says cinema's dying. I say, fuck you. I don't want to watch things at home. I want to go to the cinema. It's like church, isn't it? I've got rules on this type of seat I want in the cinema. I don't want your fancy recliner with your three course meal. I want a really upright chair, possibly with nails in it. The least comfortable chair, that's what I'm after, because I want to be watching that film and not thinking, oh, I'm having a lovely relax, aren't I? It's not relaxing, you're at the cinema, it's important. What was the last thing that you watched in the cinema? It's the best film I saw recently was Banshees of Inner Sharon, which is fucking phenomenal. Protein bar, you're doing stand-up, you're out. What are you gonna eat? Protein bar. Don't have to be this type. Sugar-free, ideally. I'm not what you classify as a foodie. That's a good meal. <laughs> There's a uh, mum's gym near where I live. 18 mums and me, and we do a circuit together and I try to look as non-threatening as possible. Am I big into fitness? Just a bit. <laughs> You're on a desert island, you've only got a Blu-ray player and there's no cinema. You're going to take the greatest film ever made, Don't Look Now, and the greatest TV show, Twin Peaks. I guess you're going to watch them over and over until you run out of food. Or power, I don't know where the power's coming from on this desert island. Maybe I'm building a sort of crank. At Twin Peaks changed my life. I was eight, me and my sister came home from somewhere, went to say hello to my dad. He says, shush, 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 and we sat down and we watched it. And it scared us so very badly. I moved a mattress into my sister's room and slept on the floor to this day. And I'm still sleeping there. Don't look now. You know when I first saw it, it also scared the shit out of me, but it's a beautiful film. And then a lot of films have copied it and they should be ashamed. <laughs> also, 
There's a sex scene in it, renowned for like, oh, did they, didn't they? Amazing sex scene, but it'll also make you cry. Crying and watching sex. That's a day out. Piano book. I'm shit at piano, but I really love playing it. I played when I was little, then I stopped. Then I played when I was older. I find it calming, not for people listening, but for myself. You're never too far from a big body of water. You're never too far from a piano. This is Billy Joel, the world's greatest singer-songwriter. Can I have that on the desert island as well? One Blu-ray with a crank and a piano. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need this book, sorry, because I can't remember all this. My other essential item is my phone, not because of uh, making calls or emails or anything, it's because of my screensaver, uh, which is Tahib Jamal, who plays Sam in Ted Lasso. Straight up, whenever I look at that, it makes me happy. It's a screensaver, it doesn't last long. It shuts off quite quickly, you really got to get your love in. Do you know what I mean? That's Tahib all over, isn't it? He gives and he takes. And my final item, the love of a bad woman. It's not ours to judge this woman morally, and I appreciate her love. Would you like to elaborate on the love of a good woman as well? No. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Those were my 10 or more essential items, which I think we can all agree were essential. Like and subscribe. <laughs>